yo what is going on everybody welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video we're going to go over something that is very common and recommended by a lot of people but i'm basically going to dive into it and tell you some things what not to do whenever updating drivers and what drivers you should update and how to properly update your drivers so if you're on windows 10 or older snappy driver installer origin works perfectly fine if you're on windows 11 it doesn't show the drivers for some reason i've tried it on people's pcs that are windows 11 it doesn't work so if you're on windows 11 you're gonna have to go to ms info 32 in your startup menu and then just look at your motherboard and whatever motherboard you have you want to search it up so for me it's going to be the b450 tomahawk max and it should be just go to the support page for your motherboard and then go to drivers and downloads and then click driver and then choose windows 10 windows 11 64 if you're on windows 11 of course and then system of chipset drivers amd chipset drivers i recommend don't install these unless you're on a ryzen 9 then you, there is a reason to install these because on a ryzen 9 you have two groups of cores so one group is eight cores and the other group is another eight cores but like every ryzen 9 there's only one set of cores that run way better than the other ones so again if you're on a ryzen 9 and you're just using it for gaming i recommend try to get a ryzen 7 just because you're basically just using a cpu that is meant for productivity for gaming which doesn't really make sense because the only benefit of the cpu is that it has more cores but it will run worse just because the other set of cores is going to run at a slower rate so that's just a little tip for people that are on a, are on ryzen and they're on a ryzen 9 just a little thing to point out that ryzen 9s are basically ryzen 5s and 7s but it's two of them so it's kind of it's kind of complicated to basically understand that but basically the 5900x for example is two ryzen 5 5600x so it's it's six cores both those cores are um, from a ryzen 5 but one of them is way way better right the first one is going to be way way better and same thing for the ryzen 5950x but that one's the ryzen 7 so the 5800x but it's just two of them into one cpu so it's the same thing same principle for the newer generation of ryzen as well but yeah don't install chipset drivers unless you're on a ryzen 9 and onboard vga graphics you don't need to install these onboard audio only install these if you have issues basically using your audio jacks on the front or the back of your pc land drivers i would use snappy driver utility installer i recommend just downloading the realtek or Intel ethernet drivers through snappy driver utility installer because it's most likely going to have the newest version of that driver unless you're on windows 11 then you just want to search up your ethernet name and then drivers and it's going to be present you to the website so for example you search up it's like family controller and it's going to be this one and then you just download the auto installation program right here same thing with a 10 and then onboard sata drivers no point unless you're using raid and if you're using raid you know how to set that up completely so i don't need to like explain what raid is so yeah that's for basically windows 11 and just people that don't want to use a external program to update their drivers you could just go to your motherboard site and look at the, some of the drivers that are going to be here obviously not all of them are going to be up to date they're not going to update them every single time but most of them should be somewhat new and if they're not new you can always just switch up the name of the driver on google and download the latest one but for newer motherboards they're most likely going to be the updated one but for older motherboards you might want to just search up whatever device you're trying to update what driver for it and then just download the driver from there but for real tech audio you want to just get it from here there's no point for me to anywhere else and it's pretty much updated to 2023 so perfectly fine to get it from here land drivers just search them up and then download them straight from the manufacturer website so it could be intel it could be real tech if you're on killer use snappy driver installer but yeah the easiest way to update your drivers is just to download snappy driver installer origin so head over to the link in the description and just click this little button right here to download it and it will download right here make sure you have 7-zip installed or winrar so you can extract the file once you have it downloaded so we're going to open it up and download and extract it. Alright, so once you open it up and download, just right click on it, click extract here with whatever tool you're using. Run sdio underscore auto dot bat as administrator. So right click on it, click run as administrator. It's going to open up with this. Make sure you press accept on this, right? So if you see this, instantly press accept on it because if you don't, it's not going to, like it's just going to show you with a blank screen. And then same thing here, you want to make sure you, this is open right here, the welcome screen, and you want to choose download indexes only, right? Because the other ones are just going to install drive and drivers that you don't need for your PC so it's gonna be like gigabytes of just files that you don't need make sure you check download indexes only and it will start downloading the indexes for your PC depending on what you have and then you just give it a second and it should pop up with a whole bunch of drivers so I'm gonna let it download right, so once it's finished up you just want to scroll all the way down and just find anything that is worth updating so for example like your wireless adapter your network Ethernet connection so for example mine would be real tech but mine's already updated so it's not gonna pop up here so basically 
update find those chipset drivers there's no need to update it through here but basically find drivers that you need in here and if you have drivers for a device that didn't have drivers before install them and that device should work but that's basically the gist of installing the drivers basically don't install everything here there's no need to if you're installing everything here you're just gonna have bugs because a lot of these drivers are just extra it's like all this amd stuff is just from chipset drivers so there's no point of installing these you can just get them from chipset drivers if you really want them for whatever reason updating your mouse or your keyboard there's not really a point just install your mouse software and make sure the firmware is up to date same thing with the keyboard and then apple mobile device my phone and then don't update your gpu through here do not there's no point it's just going to be buggy unless you have a intel integrated graphics then there is a point but that's like completely different and that's not like an amd card or a nvidia card that's like integrated graphics within a laptop or within like a workstation pc so if you have that you can just install it through here if you want but the main reason i use this tool is for sata drivers sata nvme drivers so like samsung drivers and wireless adapter drivers and ethernet connection drivers so everything else i leave alone i don't update because there's no need to just gonna cause bugs it's gonna cause issues and it might even bug out the whole entire system after i restart the pc so that's another new thing to watch out for you want to make sure you, you make a restore point right before you update any of this just so in case anything goes wrong you could go back to the restore point before the driver was even updated before it was installed and your pc should work perfectly fine and then you know which driver not to update just because it was causing you issues so yeah make sure you only update ethernet drivers nvme drivers if you can if it pops up and wireless adapter drivers and basically that's pretty much it but yeah it's pretty much it for this video guys if you want all of this done for you if you don't even want to mess with this and you just want better gaming performance in general better fps in general the least possible amount of input lag on your current specifications your current pc head over the link in the description book an optimization service directly from my website i basically go through an in-depth optimization service through a remote control program like rust desk and i will basically optimize your whole system including bios and if there is any upgrades that are needed, I'll make sure to recommend some upgrades. I sent you links directly to the parts that you need to get the most performance out of your current PC. And if you even want a completely new system, I send you the best parts for that as well. But that leads me on to my next new thing. If you want a full PC built for you, optimized for you, tested for you for basically instabilities or any of that, and make sure that it's stable, head over to the second link in the description where it takes you to my website to buy my new PC. And once you bought it, I build it for you. I optimize it so it's 100% going to be optimized. You don't need to do anything to it. You just need to get it, install your games on it, and then you're ready to do whatever you want. So order it now through the second link in my description. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more and like this video.